Hi, I'm Dr. Pamela Gay, and this is Dr. Nicole Gallucci. Hello. And we're part of CosmoQuest. And as women in astronomy, it's sometimes hard to find role models. And I have to admit, I got kind of lucky simply because I didn't have PBS. And that, that sounds really weird, but I grew up in the 80s and 90s, and most astronomers my age grew up watching Carl Sagan. He was their inspiration. But I saw Cosmos for the first time in graduate school. So for me, inspiration came from reading the book Coming of Age in the Milky Way and learning about all the women working at Harvard College Observatory, Henrietta Levet, Annie Jump Cannon, and all these dynamic women who all had personal stories of why they didn't do what they were expected, why they didn't go off and get married and become school teachers. And the funny thing is, it usually boiled down to they were too smart to be married and they didn't care about money. So they became calculators, human computers working at Harvard College Observatory. And that was just cool that all these women basically decided doing something smart was better than doing what was expected. Yeah. So Pamela Gay is actually one of my inspirations. So I'm really lucky because <laughs> I get to work with her, which is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, another one of my inspirations is Ruby Payne Scott, who is one of the first radio astronomers. Not just one of the first female radio astronomers, but one of the first radio astronomers. She lived in Australia at the time after World War II, they had all these extra radar dishes, and they started to explore the sky in radio wavelengths. And these were like, you know, the engineers, the electrical engineers. It was totally an all boys club right from the start. And she refused to wear skirts to work. She wore pants. She, you know, the 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 one, <laughs> the one the one bathroom was men only, and she just went and used it anyway. And she even had to conceal her marriage to one of her coworkers because they wouldn't allow a married couple to work there um, under the funding rules. So they concealed that for a while. And so she just said, screw it, I'm going to do what I want. And she helped pioneer the field of radio astronomy. So Ruby Payne Scott and Pamela Gay are my <laughs> STEM women of inspiration. <laughs> and, and I have to say one story that really continued to inspire me as an adult was the story of Dorit Hofflin. I, I met her when I was in my early 30s. She was still engaged when she was 100 years old in working with the AAVSO, the American Association of Variable Star Observers. We have a recorded interview with her on YouTube. We will link to it. And just hearing this woman talk about how she did what she did because it was her passion. Yeah, that is really cool. Following your passion, getting to work in something that you love is really special. And we're lucky enough to get to do it, and we're lucky that we found other women to inspire us. So keep doing what you're doing because you never know who you might inspire 5, 10, 100 years from now.